Today, I'm gonna to show you a small dish that focuses on what's most exciting and alive in my garden right now. Pairing the sort of bright early summer flavors of some of what I grow here with the deeper savory flavors of the beetroot koji charcuterie that I make. So as I record this in May, my lilac is flowering right now next to the beehives. Lilac's a beautiful flavor, aromatic and floral, but it's also fleeting. It only flowers briefly, and I really wanna make the most of those flavors whilst I've got them, as well as preserving some of its delicate flavor too. Seeing it here looking so beautiful next to my beehives, it obviously wasn't a huge creative leap to think about infusing it into honey. This sort of honey infusion is a brilliant way to preserve the flavor of flowers. It's one of my favorite things to do with elderflower, for example, and I'd, I'd really recommend doing that when it's elderflower season. To make this infusion, I'm just gonna pick my lilac flowers and place them in a jar or a bottle. I'm using this beautiful porthole bottle because it'll be easier to see what's going on, but any container really would work. I cover the flowers with honey from my bees and then leave it to infuse for two to three days. And you can taste it whilst it's infusing until it gets to the strength of flavor that you're after. And then when it's ready, if you're not using it straight away, strain the honey off the flowers for longer storage. Then over in my raised beds, things have been looking more verdant every week. And right now, radishes are just becoming perfect. I'm gonna use some of those, and I really like pickled radish, but these are at their best when they're as fresh as possible, so I'm gonna flash pickle my radish instantly in the vacuum machine. I'm also gonna pickle them in verjus, uh, an acidic grape juice from wine grapes that hasn't been fermented. It's got a similar acidity to vinegar, but a really fresh flavor. I really wanna push and emphasize this sense of freshness with the radishes. So by flash pickling them in verju, I get the benefits of the flavor, but I still get to really keep focused on their freshness. Preparing it this way, I can take my radish out of the ground, give it a wash and slice it thinly, and then flash pickle it in the vacuum machine, and it's ready just a few minutes after it came out of the ground. Lastly, the savory umami powering this dish is gonna come from my beetroot koji charcuterie. I've made a whole video about how I make this. It's got this really meaty, deep, savory flavor. So I'd recommend going and watching that if you wanna understand a little bit more about this. But in brief, I take beetroot through the various steps that you might take charcuterie through. So it gets smoked and cured, and then cultured with koji and dried to intensify its flavor and build up levels of complexity and deep savoriness. I'm gonna mix this prepared beetroot charcuterie with a fermented cashew nut pate. Again, I've done a full video on how I make the fermented cashew nut pate, but essentially I soak cashews and then blend them with an added probiotic to do a rapid fermentation of them. Then they get seasoned, and if I had to compare the flavor of this to something, I'd say it's not dissimilar to a sort of cultured cream cheese. I'm gonna chop my beetroot and then mix it with a little of the cashew pate, and both of these are already well seasoned, but I'll still just check it for seasoning. Then I pipe it into a silicon hemisphere mold. I freeze this, then unmold it and place it in the serving dish where it can come to room temperature, but it'll still keep its shape. This works great because I can get a neat shape and even portioning without having to use any gels or anything like that to set it. And now I can add my other elements from the garden. First, I'm layering on that bright, fresh verju pickled radish. And then dressing the dish with my floral, sweet, lilac infused honey. Lastly, I'm gonna finish this off with some chive flowers from the garden too. If you wanted to, you could add a little fresh herb oil or a fresh herb from the garden to this too. And that's the finished dish. Of course, it's small and designed for a tasting menu. I'm not suggesting this would be a normal sized portion for anyone, but it's got really punchy, bright flavors and it's everything that I'm really excited about in the gardens right now. 
So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please give me a like and hit subscribe and I'll have links to the beetroot and cashew nut videos that I mentioned down in the description. I hope this maybe makes you want to get out in the garden and make something delicious. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.